Hello everyone, in my previous video I did the maiden flight of my custom FPV freestyle frame, the tubular quad version 6, and the frame did just fine. It even survived getting stuck in a tree. However, the flight controller did not do just fine. It was having this weird gyro jitter, which yes, I've confirmed that it is a gyro jitter and not a desync in the beta flight configurator. And I have linked the amount of jitter to the load on the 5-volt BEC on the flight controller. So I'm using the 5-volt BEC to power the 5-volt TBS Unified Pro video transmitter. And if it actually could provide the rated 2 amps, it shouldn't have any weird issues like I'm having right now. But it clearly cannot provide the 2 amps without having some kind of weird gyro problem. So in this video, we are going to throw the Newbie Drone Infinity 200 flight controller that's currently on the quad in the garbage and we're going to try the T-Motor Mini F7 20 by 20 flight controller and hopefully this one works. It also has a 5 volt 2 amp BEC so I hope this board is better designed than the Newbie Drone one. Let's get this thing installed and then we will remade in this frame and hopefully give it a good tune. Alright, so the tubular quad is back together. However, it took a lot longer to get set up than I intended. So, towards the beginning of the video, you may recall how I said the Newbie Drone Infinity 200 was going to get thrown in the garbage. Well, the T-Motor Mini F7 also almost got thrown in the garbage. And that is because the current sensor does not work on the flight controller. So, I set everything up, I plugged the battery in, and it said the quad was drawing 30 amps just sitting there. And then I spooled the motors up and down and the current value didn't change at all. I messed with the current calibration. I couldn't get it to work properly. I did some research and it turns out I'm not the only person to have this issue on this flight controller. So it turns out there is some kind of issue with the analog to digital converter that interprets the current signal that is sent from the ESC. So I was about to try to get my money back for this board when I figured out a workaround. So the workaround I came up with was to remap the resources to use a working analog to digital converter to interpret the current signal getting sent from the ESC to the flight controller. So what I did was I soldered a wire from the ESC current signal to the RSSI pad which uses an analog to digital converter, and I remapped the resources in the Betaflight CLI. So this seems to be working now. This is a non-ideal solution. I 100% would not recommend buying the T-Motor F7 Mini 20x20 flight controller. However, if I can get this thing to fly fine, I'm not gonna touch it. And I'm starting to regret making the tubular quad version 6 20x20 because it seems although no one can make a good 20x20 flight controller, at least, in my experience because I'm 0 for 2. So with that said, hopefully this thing flies okay. If it doesn't, I won't be surprised, but let's go ahead and maiden it. All right, first up is the line of sight test hover. It works. So now we go for the real re-maiden and hopefully this flight controller works. All 
All right, that went well. All right, take two. Oh, that's good. I think I might have a loose prop. Which, that would make no sense because I just put on all these props. All right, so none of the props were loose. Which is not a good sign. Oh, not over the water. There it is. What is that? All right, so the back right motor was warmer than the other three motors. So that probably means there's some problem with the motor or the motor wires in terms of a short or there's something wrong with that ESC on the forward one ESC. So I'll try to get this to happen one more time. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it's a new day. As you saw in the last few flights, one of the motors was desyncing, and it was the same motor every time, the rear right, and the quad would just fall out of the sky. And I had this exact same problem, or at least the same symptoms, a few months ago, and the problem was the motor. I replaced that motor. Hopefully this is the last of all these mechanical problems. I've never had so many hardware problems on a build before, so. Hopefully this is the end, but if it's not, I wouldn't be surprised because I'm having very bad luck with this build. But let's just get this thing in the air and hope everything works. All right, we'll do the usual, the test hover, line of sight. Yep. All right, that checks out. All the controls are in the right direction. Now for the goggles on flight and see if or what goes wrong. Everything's okay so far. Cruising along, not doing anything too crazy yet, just get a feel for everything. Pretty rusty as well because I've just been trying to sort out this quad for like a month now. Everything seems to be working so far. No jitters, no desyncs. Current meter is doing something. All right, so let's do some fast movements and just try to get a feel of where our tune is at. I can probably just do something similar as in my previous video, crank up the P and D gains, so let's try that. Okay, so this is higher P and D gain on pitch and roll, and higher P gain on yaw. Be careful with my inverted yaw spins or I'm gonna get stuck in that tree again.
Mm. I feel like the the pitch needs a little more. It's just not doesn't seem as snappy as the roll. And then how's bounce back? That back seems fine for both. Within an acceptable level. I'm not running iTerm Relax, so you would expect a fair amount of bounce back. Getting low battery warnings already. Not not good. We'll just finish this battery and then mess with stuff. I'm thinking more more pee on pitch at least. But I mean feels pretty good. You chop the throttle, see where the voltage goes. Yeah, it mostly comes right back up. I have to obviously current, I have to obviously calibrate the current sensor. So if anything, it's probably reading a little low. So if anything, I'm over discharging this battery based on the voltage I'm looking at. All right, let's do another one. All right, let's tweak the PIDs a little bit. I just added three to P on pitch. That brings it up to 63. And I'm gonna try just lower eye gains, cause why not? So I'm gonna go down to around 70 on pitch and roll. We'll see how that feels. If it doesn't feel too loose, I'll probably just try to go with something lower because that will reduce bounce back, cause it will reduce eye term wind up, which is what eye term relax gets rid of. Um, but I have tried iTerm Relax on and off, back to back. People always ask me about this. And I prefer iTerm Relax off for some reason. It just feels more consistent, even though there's more bounce back. And, you know, technically the quad is not following your commanded rate as closely, but it just feels more natural to me. And that may just be because... You know, I've been doing this a long time and I'm used to being off on like KISS and stuff like that. I'm just seeing how it kind of floats down. Yeah, it doesn't feel like too floaty or not locked in with the lower eye. At least for now, I might change my mind on that. crashed. All right, let's do some fast motions again just
I think P needs more uh, D gain. Oh, I should have checked the motor temperatures too. I could be overheating these. Who knows? If I can get away with more P and more D, I will. So let's see how the motors feel. Yeah, they're barely warm, so that means we have um, we have headroom for our D gains. I'm gonna go 65 on roll P, 50 on roll D, 68 on pitch P, and like 53 on pitch D. All right. Let me check the motors. Yeah, they're barely warm at all. Let me pay a little more attention to how everything feels. I do keep getting low battery warnings. Let's see what the voltage goes to. Eh, 14.6, so current meter probably needs calibration. Pids feel nice though. Pids feel pretty good. Just cranking everything up. We'll just keep flying, and if I feel like the tune needs adjusting, I will adjust it, but it feels pretty good, and I'm happy that nothing has gone wrong yet with uh, the electronics. Any power loop question mark? Yes, sir. Oh, and it's winter time. I'm liking how everything is. I think y'all could use a little more P. So I'm just gonna turn it up to like 55. I don't wanna get too crazy with it because at least on six inch with the higher moment of inertia of the quad and how efficiently and easily the props create thrust uh, when you're inverted and you do a yaw move it really sucks the quad down pretty quick and i think it's a lot quicker compared to five inch but i haven't flown five inch in a really long time so we're basically just flying freestyle at this point which is what I hoped to get to today. And we are flying freestyle. 
And where's the low scraggle? Still can't see it. was real low try to get me <laughs> yeah we can talk about it if you want I flew things like that 40 years ago. I mean, they have basically all the... You're going to have everybody after you if you do stuff up here. I can't do anything. Um, basically, here is where they do all the biological and chemical warfare research. Everything is right here. And they don't talk about it and they don't advertise it. This school is school to go to. If you want to be the best in those areas or anything else, you won't hear about it. It won't be advertised. It's just there. You, Your stuff is already on their airplane. They're going to find you out pretty soon if you keep it up. I'm telling you. Um, they won't arrest you at first. You want to find out what you're doing. The whole thing is, man, you're going to get so many people coming after you. You're going to be glad I found you. Right now, hide it. Get stuff underground. Do it different places. Don't do it the same place every day. You're going to get caught no matter what. People don't know it, but right now, it's going to be very, very bad to do things like this because they're going to be looking for anything from any other country doing stuff against us right now. This is one of the worst times in the world to experiment. All right, well, today just got a lot more interesting. I went over there and that guy said, you know, he's interested, so I'm ready for the usual questions, but no. Instead, I'm supposed to, uh, you know, cover this up that I'm doing this because they're going to find me and they're going to arrest me and they're going to want me for their research. So uh, for all those out there doing this, watch out, you might be next. So, you know, if I haven't uploaded in a month or so, you know what's happened to me. They got me. Their plane has already seen me, allegedly. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna take me away, you guys. So, it was nice knowing you. That, uh, that guy also claimed to teach at whatever, you know, whatever school this is. He claim to teach here. So yeah, let's take that into account. But you know, we're back out here with the plane watching us and uh, hopefully they don't come and arrest us today so I can get this video uploaded. All right, we got one more battery, let's rip it.
Let's see if we can hit this. Mini power loop. Yes, ma'am. All right, I don't see any people. Oh, that was bad. That's the kind of impact that will often, you know, crack a bottom plate or a top plate, but everything looks good, so frame is performing as expected. So it looks like this thing is finally dialed. So I just jinxed that and something's probably gonna go wrong now. Checking for like high throttle oscillations. Can't tell if I have some when I pull out of dives. I think that's just prop wash. I think I did lower the TPA gain at some point, so I might need to just go back up to what it was. Also, all these motors are pretty beat up, even though I did new bearings on them. At least one of them's pretty out of balance. And all the props are beat up, so you have a fair amount of vibration entering the system, but last I checked, the motors were not getting hot, so that's good. Remember, this is 1922 KV on 4S. All right, so at the end there, my stick camera ran out of memory, but all I was saying is how six inch on 1922 KV on 4S has plenty of power, at least for how much my setup weighs and the kind of flying I do. And during that flight, I was also kind of noticing there was a oscillation or vibration at higher throttle, and it turns out I just had a chipped prop that I failed to notice. So I don't think that's gonna be a tuning issue now that I've swapped that prop out. So I think the tubular quad V6 is pretty dialed now. I finally worked through all of the electrical issues, which there were a lot of them, and we finally got a good tune on it. So at this point, I think I can finally just go back to enjoying flying, enjoying FPV, and not having to mess with electronics that don't work how they should. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video and this style of video. I know it was a lot longer than usual. It was more informal, more vloggy. So let me know what you think. I know some people have wanted me to do vlogs, but I'm personally kind of against them. To me, they just don't have very much educational value to them. But if you guys just enjoy the entertainment, you know, let me know. 
Please like this video if you liked it. And if you want to help support the channel, just click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can also throw me a couple bucks on Patreon. Lastly, if you can't get enough of me here on YouTube, I also have an Instagram page, timmy.r.c. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.